Hey guys, Mr. Tuna here. And this is a MIDI cable. This is a MIDI cable. But what I'm here to talk about today is this, a MIDI cable. CME Pro Witty Master is a wireless MIDI interface to connect your synthesizers or your gear together in synchronization or through MIDI notes. And I've found in my experience that not only is it reliable, but works over longer distances and consistently is faster than a traditional MIDI cable or USB cable. It's also interesting to note that due to the limitations of their technology, MIDI cables and USB cables can only be a maximum of 15 to 20 feet in length. Anything after that and they become riddled with error or misinformation. I bought this 25 foot USB cable only to find it was completely useless. The Witty Master, it easily travels 30 plus feet with uh, no problems. One of the neat things about the Witty Master is how it works exactly like a standard MIDI cable without the need for a computer or a middleman. Uh, for example, in the studio here, one instance I have set up is through the Roland MC707. And while it's connected through some traditional means like MIDI DIN and USB, I also have it firing out from a Witty Master over to the Square Pyramid. And the Pyramid, at least this second version I've got running over here, it's controlling the Jupiter X and various other peripherals. But what this allows is for me to, well, not only cut down on cable clutter, but also cut down on the excess MIDI message or the unnecessary ones that might be creating loops or uh, glitches amongst the system where I can send just MIDI timing or notes or channels or whatever it is I see fit in between these virtual cables. Now, in that same respect, I have a third Witty Master connected into my video rig over here. And where I might have had to run a improbable or uh, an unattractive amount of cable from my mixer or from one of my synths to the machine, I can simply include the Witty Master in the setup and it is connected directly to my computer operating the sequencer and recording directly from the knobs, sending back and forth so we can create synchronized laser shows or whatever it is I dream. The Witty Master is also fast. I've got the Jupiter X connected to the pyramids specifically through the Bluetooth of the device. And while the Jupiter X is sending MIDI notes to the pyramid and the pyramid is recording those notes and sending them back to the Jupiter X in real time, you never hear that lag. You never feel the difference between when you play and what you hear. And while the square pyramid here records, you'd be amazed at the accuracy of the timing you can get. You can define your connections in the app, but simply by making the connections in time, the Witty Masters will know to pair. And you can play from across the room. Now you might think of the Witty Master as a MIDI cable, when in reality it may be more akin to half of two cables. Now what I mean to say is that while there is certainly the traditional functionality, there is an in 
and an out, depending on how you're excited to use it or uh, make use of it in the studio, you might need to double down and buy a pair to create that virtual connection. Now, if you're just using a computer or an iPad or an iPhone or some uh, Bluetooth MIDI device, you may only need the one to make connection to your device. But the beauty of something like the Witty Master is using them in combination or creating groups among these devices that when you plug them in, they recognize each other and immediately start working as intended like you had hardwired a cable from one device to the other. Uh, for example, the MC707 to the Square Pyramid, like I showed you, but you might also use it for more esoteric uses, like the MIDI rings. You could synchronize a MIDI ring to the uh, Witty Master. You could plug it into your device, and the two would know to recognize each other. Uh, once plugged into the MIDI port of your synthesizer, there would be no computer middleman. There'd be nothing keeping you from taking it out to the forest and going to jam or uh, recording MIDI from the synth directly to your iPod or iPhone or whatever it is that you choose to use. There's a lot of advantage to something like the Witty Master above and beyond the less capable alternatives something like the Yamaha BT-01, uh, which is a device that I still own and haven't picked up since grabbing the Witty Master. The BT-01 is an older Yamaha device that uses slower Bluetooth technology. The latency is unforgivable, or at least it's noticeable. And that's the biggest differentiator with something like the Witty Master is that instantaneous playing, that um, immediate response. I cannot hear a difference with the Witty Master when I'm playing compared with a regular MIDI or USB MIDI cable. It is remarkable the response time that you get and the reliability that I found with something like the Witty Master. Um, I've been able to update my OB6 with the Witty Master in a way that I could never make work over USB MIDI or through traditional means. I've been able to send information to my video rig from across the studio. It has made a huge difference in the functionality of not only my studio, but my regular tests when I go out to play gear or when I go out to check stuff out if I was buying secondhand. I'm really impressed by this device and um, I find uses for it every day in my studio. It's also really easy and handy to pair with something like the Genki Wavering, which allows for wireless MIDI control of hardware devices, so long as you're synced with something like the Witty Master. I'm just going to plug that guy in and turn on the Wavering. The two should sync automatically. That looks good. <laughs> Very cool. With my Korg pad control, I'm connected to the Roland MC707 via a traditional MIDI DIN cable that allows me to play in my beats manually and with virtually no lag to replace these connections. And you can see here we're disconnected. To replace these connections with the Witty Master makes for an identical experience. Now with the Witty Master.
and no lag or no uh, running up together or no staggering. It's remarkable how uh, straightforward it is. There are lots more things other than the examples that I've given you today regarding the Witty Master and its less conventional uses, but um, as far as I'm concerned, it is the future of MIDI technology. I am just uh, amazed at how easy and effortless it is when it comes to connecting gear or synchronizing things from longer distances than I would have other, otherwise felt comfortable with. Or, or known to expect trouble where I have found none in something like the Witty Master. It comes with my biggest recommendation. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know because I'm very interested to further the discussion of wireless and future MIDI protocol. Um, good talking to you guys today, and I hope we, uh, we run into each other real soon. <laughs>